guys, today we'll be remaking this scene from E.T. the Extraterrestrial, completely free in Blender and DaVinci Resolve. So if you're ready, let's just get started and jump into Blender. To make the moon in the background, I added a sphere into my scene. I went into the shading tab and imported some image textures of the moon from NASA. I'll leave a link to these textures in the description below. For the roughness value, I took the base color texture and plugged it into a math node where I then added 0.5 to it. This makes the roughness value of the moon higher, so it's less shiny. I plugged the displacement texture into a displacement node with a scale of 0.003 and made sure that the displacement settings in the shading tab were set from bump only to displacement of bump. For the blue glow around the outside of the moon, I duplicated the moon and deleted all the textures on it, and then I scaled it up a little, so it was just slightly larger than the other sphere. I plugged in a transparent node into the surface, and a blue volume scatter node into the volume. For the density, I added in a layer weight node set to for now, and put the bat value at 0.7. For the trees, I added a sampling tree gen curve into my scene. To do this, go to settings, preferences, add-ons, I take the sapling tree gen add-on. I loaded in the small prime preset values and I just tweaked some of the branch growth values to make the branches point up a bit more to the spot. I changed the scale of the leaves and made sure the show leaves was enabled. Once these settings were done, I went into the animation tab and enabled armature and fast preview and then reduced the wind strength to 0.5 and the animation speed to 0.25. Now we have one tree, but we need a forest of them. To do this, I added a plane and added a loop cut to it, and then moved the edge up a bit so it looks like a low poly hill. Then I went into the geometry nodes tab and distributed some points across the faces, and then instanced a tree at each of those points. Now there's a forest of trees, but they're all the same. To fix this, I added in a random value node and plugged it into the scale so the trees were different sizes. To change the rotation of the trees, Add in a combined XYZ node, plug that into the rotation, then add in a random value node and plug that into the Z value to give the trees even more variation. In the shot from ET, the moon looks like it's shimmering. To achieve this effect, I added a displace modifier on the moon and set it and its volume. I set the texture to a noisy value of 0.7. In the shot from ET, the moon looks like it's shimmering. To achieve this effect, I added a displace modifier on the moon and its volume. I set the texture to a noise value of 0.7 and the scale to 0.1. I then changed the coordinates to object and added in an empty. I selected the object to be the empty and then animated the start and end keyframes of the empty so it moves up. What this does is it displaces the moon's geometry and drags the displacement in the direction of the empty which gives it the shimmering effect. To model the bike, I just used a bunch of cylinders at different scales and then joined them together. I then used a torus for each of the wheels. For ET, I extruded a cube and added a few loop cuts just to deform it into looking like the basket that held ET. I separated the bike pedals from the rest of the bike and then parented them back to the bike so I'd be able to animate them individually later. To make Elliot, I just used the model of Spider-Man I made in the last video. I'm able to get away with this because all we see is Elliot's silhouette. So all I had to do was use the grab tool to deform Miles into looking like Elliot. I then exported Elliot as an FBX and uploaded him to Mixmo. I used the bicycle animation and then re-downloaded him. The animation is a great starting point, but it needs a few tweaks. For example, legs are too high up. To fix this, I went into pose mode and selected the leg bones, and then selected their rotation on the x-axis, then I moved it down a few degrees so his legs are lower. Once the animation was cleaned up, I parented him to the bike, and then I animated the path the bike would take, to make sure the interpolation of the keyframes was set to linear. To texture the trees, I used a black emission shader for the truck to make it look like it was silhouetted. But I could do to, to, tex to texture the trees, I used a black to texture the trees, I used a black emission shader for the truck to make it look like it was silhouetted. But I couldn't do the same things for the leaves though, as I noticed that in the reference that some of the leaves looked like they were fading into the background of it. 
and having the moonlight come through. To achieve this effect, I used a mix shader with a Fresnel node of 0.55 as a factor to control what part of the leaves would be transparent and what wouldn't. For the principal BSDF, I turned up the transmission to 0.99 and the roughness to 0.6 to give it a green colour. For the principal to BSDF, I turned up the transmission to 0.99 and the roughness to 0.6 and I gave it a green colour. For the transparent shader, I gave it a slight blue tint so it looks like it's being hit by the moonlight. For Elliot's cape, I used a plane and marked it into a simple low poly cape. For Elliot's cape, I used a plane and marked it into looking like a simple low poly cape. I then subdivided it and took the first row of vertices to an empty, which apparent to Elliot's neck. I then added cloth physics to the cape with a weight of 0.001, no damping values, and made sure to have self collisions turned on. I then went into the weight paint mode and grabbed I then added cloth physics to the cape with a weight of 0.001, no damping values, and made sure to have self collisions turned on and gravity turned off. I went into weight paint mode and painted a gradient texture on Elliot's cape to control how much of it would stick to his neck. I then added a subsurf modifier after the cloth sim and a solidify modifier to give it a bit of thickness. I then added a wind force with strength of around 200 and then animated the wind strength and the strength of the cape's gravity to control how much it would wave about. For the lighting, I used two area lights to highlight some parts of the bike. I also made Elliot's head and ET slightly emissive to make it look like the moonlight's hitting them. For the background, I used a simple gradient texture plugged into a colour wrap. I also made sure that the moon was emissive using its base colour to determine the strength of the emission. Once that was done, I rendered out the animation as .exrs and headed into the compositing tab. In terms of compositing and blender, all I did was lower the exposure by 0.5 and then add a far glow glare node to the moon with a threshold of 0.11 to make it look like the moon was glowing. I then rendered out the sequence and went into the final step of colour correction in DaVinci Resolve. I first tweaked the offset value to make it a little more blue, then I brought down the shadows, but I increased the highlights and lift a bit. For the final touch, I added a bit of film grain of strength 0.15 to make it less clean so it seems more real, and with that, I give you the final result. Thank you so much for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and liked, and if you have any suggestions for any other cinematic scenes I should make, please leave them down in the comments below, and I'll let you get on with the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.